All right, Phil. Welcome on back. Welcome in. Um, I decided last night I would do a Class C variant. Well, this is not the ship, but this is heavily based on the Shield Breaker. I don't have the ship, but I built one that was pretty much just like it. Um, the old Leatherneck Two. I wanted to build a ship that was had class C components. Um, so instead of the original leather neck I made that was class B, the one I did make is class C. Uh, the hab layout, you know, it will be a bit different um, just to house the class C components. And there is a bit of uh, merging going on in here too. So, um, into the builder um <clears throat> i mean if you are interested in seeing this and how this went down um do let me know in the comments um because this i've tried out you know the vanguard obliterators you know like pbo's but this kind of weapon layout really works well with this um and overall um, cargo capacity is great because instead of having the landing bay facing rear, I threw it to the front. Put a 20T hauler here, put the bottom docker 110DP back here so it's lined up with the um, companion way on top. And a 10T hauler. I have three done 71s and a done 31 on here. 104DS, R3000 beta. A lot of spines going on here, you know, push some things back. Anyway, uh, where are we? I uh, also did a, a big old hauler truck here. Uh, anyway, that's my original leather neck here. There we go, leather neck two. Um, you probably noticed I had to put some uh, skinny DT-60s on the back. Um, it would not, the shipbuilder would not allow me to use four of the Poseidons. I didn't want to alter too much, you know. So what we do have is a lot of Vanguard on here. The, uh, Vanguard Star Seeker Pulse Lasers for a count of three. Remember, max power, we're looking at four here, so three. For a total power of 12 power per weapon group. These guys. Oh, I do have four of the Vanguard Ares Particle Cannons. Those are max power of three, so we used four. And just because I want to bang stuff, just blow it out of the void here. I have three of the 280C. ETL by Light Scythe missile launchers. Alright, so I hate to do this and try to figure out the coloring all over again, but I'm gonna select the whole thing and delete it. Um I am at my outpost on Nezui and I have already jumped around New Atlantis, Nova, Deimos. Um those are gonna be the three main manufacturers that we're going to run around to to grab all these parts. Um, and per the same standard, we're going to do a, a, a rear facing or aft facing at bed 200 landing bay. From this back attachment point, we're going to drop down Deimos companion way, and duplicate that up. Before I continue on this bottom companion way here, we're going to drop down our slim docker bottom. 100 DP slim docker bottom. So a lot of this should already be at your outpost on Nezui if you have one, or go to New Atlantis. You'll find all these parts there. Um, except for the landing gear, you're going to have to go to Nova 4 unless you're running a mod like I do. Um, it gives you all shipyard parts at New Atlantis with console command runner. 
I mean, it might be a pain if you're not on PC, you'll have to travel. Um, but speaking of travel, a little banner card should have linked in the video as soon as I said travel on the top right. Um, for all the star yards and ship services technicians scattered across the map. Um, if you're on mobile watching this, then I'll link the video in the description. Try to make things easier for you. And we will continue on. I forget what habs I was using. My NOAA reactor and grav driver are going to be merged together on top of this. So, um, go back to habs here. I know at the front, I'm going to have a control station back here. I'm going to kick an infirmary to at the front of that infirmary control station. Right, then our cockpit's gonna go here. Uh, two demos holes, our landing gear on this side here before we go up any further. I'm gonna throw an armory, but I'm gonna pull it forward on this second companion way. On this side, we're gonna pop in a workshop and then kick back, gonna force it forward since it can't put a door any anywhere else of that layout here you know it can't put a door anywhere else so it's going to force one to the back in this case all right at the top of our infirmary throw down a companion way leave back here i'm going to throw down a two by one captain's quarters at the back And in the front, we're going to throw in an all-in-one berth. All demos. So if I take these two off, this basic kind of awkward T-shape is what you're going to have. Right, let's get these back on real quick. Um, this captain's quarter is, gonna, is going to have to come off for now. Um, I'm going to get this out of the way, so for reactors, pinch 8Z, going to sit right on the bottom back here, on this companion way, and this infirmary, going to sit right back here. Okay, now grab drives, I went with the J52, gamma, I don't want to make, make the mistake of saying grandma again. You can't duplicate it at all, even if you look down at it. So, in this case, we're going to go to structural, grab a couple demos holes. I'm going to pop one on top so it can't go anywhere, just in case. Um, basically, what I did there was I just highlight this one, hit Y to duplicate, drop it down a few times, highlight it, duplicate it to have two. So, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. So, select your gamma drive, the bottom hole, duplicate down once. Might be hard to see, but I'm going to select the second one here, bottom hole, duplicate it down, and that's it. So, I'll delete the top one and this one just to save some headaches. So, now they're merged into each other. Probably won't notice at first glance unless you see that copper in the middle like, what is that? <laughs> I'm going to throw this captain's quarters back on the rear of our companion way here. Um, I actually should have kept one of those demos holes. I'm going to need two of them, so I'll leave them here. Um, those are cosmetics. And, you know, for those of you who are probably getting, you know, get driven nuts by this. Um, I'm going to need two more. So, this Deimos hull is going to go on the back of our captain's quarters. The second Deimos hull, we're going to go down one and pop that at the top attachment point of our grab drive. So it'll be one here and here. Now we're going to need two more Deimos holes. These are going to go in between the armory and workshop. We're going to 
put one more forward. That. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to need a lot of demos, cosmetic stuff. Um, I won't drive you all crazy. Shield. Went with... Where's that plus sign? Yeah, the Assurance SG-1800. We're going to put that right here. On top of our control station. Which isn't underneath, but slightly in front of our all-in-one berth here. Alright, since we're looking at a headless ship here, we're going to go over to cockpits and you see two... X is going to sit right on the front of our control station here. Now, as with a lot of my designs here, you might already anticipate what's coming. Um, in case not, we go back over to structural. <laughs> I'm laughing because you should already know by now. Nova cowling top four. I'm going to duplicate it, pop it to a bottom. Nova cowling. Top four. Remember, you get it from the shop, drop it. Now pick it up, and we're going to do our flip. Why to flip once, why to flip the second time, B to cancel. Or if you're on mouse and keyboard, you hit Z to flip, Z to flip again, and then either tab or escape to cancel. So for the bottom four, that's going to sit right here. They're both going underneath and on top of our control station. So when you buy it, say you just picked it up from the shop and it's this way, you flip it this way and you try to attach it, it won't let you. Even if you did the flip cancel, you have to drop it, pick it up, attachment sound, flip, flip, cancel. Left bumper or double click to highlight the whole thing and we are golden. Okay. We're going to jump over. I'm uh, not going to do engines yet. I want to get everything else situated. Um, of course, fuel tanks. I'm going to just drop these for now. We're going to use two of the M50 Ulysses HE3 tanks. Find those at Deimos. Pretty much this entire thing, except for like certain cosmetics, is Deimos. Alright, so landing gear. You're going to need three... Of these ng20 landing gear fours so we're gonna do one on the hull here one on the front of our armory and one on the front of our workshop now if you got six of these duplicate it hit left on d-pad go to the wide variant you're gonna need three one on the back of the workshop one on the back of the armory and one on this demos hull in front of our companion way here so your layout should look something like that. All right. Zoom out here. I don't like being too close to the ship. It, it drives me crazy. Um, back. A cargo. For this, I chose... 252 in mass, the Galleon S203s. These are going to kick right here in front. In this front attachment point of our infirmary. Not the back. Front one. I'm going to duplicate this. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Remember so that the curves are those slanted lines are facing away from the main body of the ship here. Now, I'm gonna tab back over. Could just go this way. Structural is easier going left from this point. Um, you don't have to do Deimos bellies. You could do like 10T cargo haulers if you wanted to. Um, like I have, well, it only has shielded at this outpost, but you could do the 10Ts the rear. Maybe pop one there, one there. Um, for me, 
Go back over to structural. Demos belly. Flip it aft. One attached to this Deimos hole underneath the top Deimos hole. Could be in that manner. Next one may not let you put it on, which it probably won't. So grab a Deimos belly, flip it aft, drop it in the builder. Pick it up. You probably guessed it by now. Flip, flip, cancel. I like the whole thing with the left bumper or double click, and we're good. Okay. If you have questions about that, um, I mean, it's fairly simple, but it depends. It has to have an attachment point. You have to hear that attachment sound. Okay. For now, that's it for demos, because I know I'm doing a whole spine up top. Um, I'm going to go down to Nova braking engines, four of those. One's going to go right where our cargo is, attached to our armory, top front attachment point there. As you probably guessed, the other one's going to go on the workshop here. Alright, now at the top of our companionway here, the very top one, we're going to attach two more to these attachment points. Duplicate it, bring it up, and we're going to kick it right there. Now we're looking like an Apache. So, Nova Cowling 1L port 4. We need... Because one's going to go attached to our all-in-one berth at the top here. And I'm going to highlight it, it right on D-pad to give it a D mid variant or PM port mid. And attach it to the back of the all-in-one berth. Now, that Nova Cowling 1L port 4. I like duplicate, flip it. Just like I did, I'll delete it, highlight it, it'll try to drop down or duplicate it, start over. I like this, it tries to drop down once you duplicate it, bring it over to the other side, Y to flip, and that front attachment point is where that's going. Now this is blue because my cursor is still over it, duplicate it. Drag it over, hit right on D-pad. We now have our port mid variant. Now for down here, I'll get to that. So I'm gonna highlight, duplicate, left, left on D-pad. I'm gonna drop down to either side of the chip bed 200 landing bay. Drop one aft variant here. Grab another aft variant. Duplicate, flip, that's where that's living. Um, I did use two more somewhere. I think it was by the fuel tanks here to cover the hole. Yeah. Now with these M50s, we're going to get these out of the way. I'm going to grab one, put it behind our braking engines top here. That's to the front right the captain's quarters kind of covering our grab drive here this other m50 is gonna go on the other side the captain's quarters now normally what i do i don't even have this one i just take this hover over it why to duplicate flip it pop it on i don't like going through all that extra you know Um, you can choose to leave this open, or you can do what I'm about to do, put like two Deimos bumpers there. It's up to you. Okay, so now, we're gonna go with a Nova Cowling 2L Port 4. You probably guess, right in front of your cargo, against your control station here. That's where that's gonna live. 
instead of going back into the builder, highlight or hover over it to highlight it in blue. Why to duplicate down? I'm going to duplicate this one, drag it over, flip it so that it's SF or starboard four, and put it in the same spot in front of your cargo. That's to your control station. Like that. Now, highlight it, get it down. Done. Now we're going to need two more of these because I think these are going to go here on the side of our grab drive. I like this left on D-pad. Notice how it turns it to port four. If I left it starboard uh, port four, hit right on D-pad port mid, hit right on D-pad port aft. I don't like doing it that way, so it's port four. Hit left, port aft. Done. That's going to attach to the back of your armory and to the side of your wrap drive and reactor combo here. Now with this, I'm just going to highlight it, duplicate it, drag it, flip it to starboard aft using Y and attach it to the back of our workshop and the side of our grab drive reactor combo here. Coming along. Now, uh, radiators, the big ones. These are going to go right in this empty space here against the back of the infirmary, or the back left attachment point as you're looking at it from or position. Duplicate that, drag it over right underneath our breaking in here. All right. Now we're going to go Nova radiator port. These are going to kick right behind our fuel tanks here. Now this has a cutout right here. And these can flip back and forth. So I like duplicate, flip. Now the cutout's on the opposite side. Or the cut off. Whatever way you want to put it. Okay. Now, uh, I guess we'll finish off structural. There's it, demo spine A. I'm gonna pop that right on the top of the all-in-one berth here at the very front. Radiator here, spine C, radiator, spine B, spine B, tail A. So, go ahead and grab that radiator. It's going to go right behind our spine A. Uh, this one's going to go on the front top of our captain's quarters. So this radiator, this radiator. Alright, so grab yourself a spine C, as is. Put that between these two radiators. But spine C is going to go on your top companionway. Here. Always. All right, so find B right behind this radiator. Grab another spine B. Pop that on the hole here. And go down to Deimos tail A. Attach it to that hole right there. Now you're welcome to maybe use a Nova cowling, you know, like I did up here. You can possibly grab this left on d-pad to flip it aft flip it up and you don't have to use the demos belly you could probably just put that there which kind of looks better so i'm going to leave it <laughs> but that's i'm always trying to tweak and improve things so um now that cosmetics are done we're going to hit up engines before we go any further the dt60s aries dt60 you can get these from Demos. Our ship design rank three. I'm gonna pop these on the side of the hole here. One here. Highlight, duplicate, drag it over. Get wide to flip. Bang. Now, here's the fun part. 
These are not at the outpost. I had to go to Deimos to get these. Poseidon DT-230s. These unlock like level 60 plus, I believe, or 48. 58? Or was it? So 60, uh, 62 or 64 plus is where all the best stuff unlocks. These were somewhere between level 52 and 56. Anyway, these are going to go to the side of the workshop here. And this one's going to go on the other side to our armory here. One there. And one here. Now for weapons, um, I'd mentioned this already, but I'm going to go ahead and grab them. Where are they? There we go. Vanguard Star Seeker Pulse Laser. Um, not a very good range, so I put these on the very front. These Nova cowlings here. And the other one over here. On this Nova cowling. Front attachment point, not this one. This one. So I'm gonna highlight, duplicate. I'm gonna drop this on the bottom of our Magellan D2X. All right, we're not gonna do the 280s yet. Vanguard Ares particle cannons. 3,960 in range. We're going to drop one at this rear attachment point where that nub is on the wing here for the cowling. Same thing on this side. Pop it right there. Drop it like it's hot. The Aries particle cannon is going to go right up there. Only available attachment point on the top of a cowling. And same thing on this side on the starboard side. Last piece here is going to be the light scythe atoll atoll or ATL 280Cs. I'll put one on either side of the C spine here. And one back here. Because the range on this is 5,280. All right. There's one error because my weapons are not attached. Uh, wait, you stay. You know what? In keeping with how I did things and how I showed it beginning with the, uh, you know, the walkthrough of the exterior showcase, I don't want to change things up too much and mess you all up. So I'm just going to leave that belly back there. Okay, coloring. Pain in the butt. I'll tell you right now. Um, I wanted something a bit more green, not so bright, and darken it. Uh, lighten that. This was such a pain in the butt to get. A little bit. Right, all right, yeah, we'll go with that. So color one is that, color three is that, color two is gonna be pain on my backside here. That, that works. Now I have to color everything separately. It's a bit of a pain. But for right now, let me do the weapons. 280 Caesar weapon two. Zero is right trigger, uh, one is left trigger. So left trigger, I'm gonna go with the particles. Right trigger, yeah, right trigger. Left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, particles, yes, right trigger. Speakers, so I can knock down shields faster. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through all of this and select it all individually. So, starting with all of the Nova Cowlings, the big ones, two LPFs, 
grab these. And I have to be able to see in a good light, you know, the color. Um, two brown, three brown. A bit dark, isn't it? That'll work for now. Um, up here worked out fairly well. Uh, these Nova cowlings, I don't like the way they came out. So, color two green, color three is going to be the brown. Uh, I don't like the way that worked. Color two, oh, green, three, that brownish color, that works. Now the braking engine is colored lighter. So color one, I'm going to pop down just a bit. That works. Um, should be a black ish color. I don't like the way these fuel tanks came out. Um, color one, obviously that brighter green. Color two, brown. Color three. There we go. That works. Now with all of these Nova Calling 1Ls here, 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 and here. All right. That color two. Ah, uh, color two. I want the brown color. Got like a stripe of black on. Um. Engines. I don't like all that brown on it. So color two, black three will be brown. So it's got like a brown stripes, kind of subtle on there. Um, I don't know. Spine could stay like a greenish brown, kind of cool like that. These are not gonna work. Um, color one, two is gonna be that one. Brown color, th black. That works pretty good. <clears throat> um, landing gears are not going to be. That's a hard no. Black, black, black. There we go. Now we're looking pretty good. Looking, we're looking, we're on a roll here. So with that being said. Sitting on my foot kind of hurts the heel anyway. I'm going to go ahead, exit, cancel, and we are still the same. Perfect. Except this didn't come out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> the brown, green, black. This is going to get changed to brown, keeping with. Now it's black, brown. These didn't come out the same. Three black, two brown, one. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Other than that, same layout, same everything. Go back there. And with that being said, the build is complete. We're going to take a walk on around the interior here. Was hurting my boys here. Not over it. Anyway, it's lightning and rain out here at Nezui, so it might not be a good idea to take a little flight around. What are y'all doing out here? Go do something. You have time to lean. You have time to clean. Oh, let's get in here and take a look around here. What will be our next course of action? Er. Hopefully Vasco's not glitched into a floor and screwing us all up here. So we load in, we jump up here, two hatches left and right. Remember, workshop on this side. Armory on this side. Remember, we're at the rear of the ship. So companionway, workshop pushing out front, armory pushing out front. 
or toward the floor of the ship. Ah, come on. Go ahead. We're gonna go up one more level. Sam, get out of my dang way. Sorry about that, y'all. These people are annoy the crap out of me. This is our Damos Infirmary. We're gonna open this up. Here's our Deimos control station, two by one. Up there is our cockpit. We're not going there yet. All right. Got some good uh, boost pack skills today. <laughs> so we're gonna circle around back. Hey, how are you? I'll be quiet and get out of my way. <laughs> Here's our all-in-one berth, two by one. Got our little kitchen here. Kick out back this way in our captain's quarters here. Where's that fluorescent light coming from? Why are you not on? Lurp down a tube today. Oh, ugh. No thank you. Drinking alien goo. No thanks. All right, run through our control station here. Open this up. And here's our C2X cockpit. Mm, not a great view, but you know. I like the bigger ships with the bigger cockpits. You've got like almost a 180 degree field of view, kind of like the um, Cabo C4. And jump in here, take off. Yep, we got that red tiger skin anti xeno stuff on. Oh, I lost a person. Maybe because I hit Sam, he decided to take off <laughs> and leave the crew. Oh, that's what they get for getting in my dang way. Even though it's. Don't follow me when I do that because that's bad behavior and I shouldn't be promoting that kind of stuff. I mean, not, but whatever. Uh, you spin me right round, baby. Oh, wait. I'm going to need that because I want to demonstrate the uh, speed. All right. So we're at what? 168 base. Let's see where we go. 582, not bad. Not great, but not bad. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Put that in the lasers. And we're gonna hit up. Y'all might know by now. Let's go. We're gonna go to Serpentis. Pop some stuff out the sky. One, two, three. One, two, three. In this case, I took three out of lasers and put three in graph. Grav drive spinning down. Systems green. I mean, you can use the lasers and the particle beams together if you want to. Um, in my case, the lasers tend to run out of juice fairly quickly on this. Maybe it's just me, the way I'm using them. Maybe I'm too far away, actually. Um, let's see if we got some hostile activity out here. Yes, we do. Just one. So, not too much action, but just enough to showcase this. Um, I do like my class B variant a bit better, it's faster, but, um, definitely won't be able to make a class A of this, too big, you shall be judged. not being judged at all, it's my butt, let's go, learn how to behave yourselves. 
Goodbye. Where'd you go? Use my thrusters to go down a little bit. Where are you going? Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? See you later. I always use missiles to, you know, try to finish people off. Going to our third person here. Facing some... Alright. Watch, we're gonna bang into the rock. Nope, before we do that, lift up, lift up, lift up. <laughs> Alright. Well, I want to thank you all for coming by and checking this out. Um, give me the time of day to look at. Oh, this is a. Uh, I look at one of my most original, you know, Apache type builds here because uh, I haven't seen anything like this on the internet anywhere. But if you enjoyed the video, definitely like and subscribe. Don't hit Sam. Don't hit your crew members. You know. Just yell at them, tell them, make a hole and get out of my way. No, not really. Um, anyway. Uh, I will catch you all on the next one. Alright. Later.